Shai Shalom, Kolo Yimla Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shah, which is the name of the Most High Power. I'm going to say this the, the undisputed Most High Power. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, the Lord and the Apostles, and the salutations to the brothers that preach and teach the truth and sincerity. Alright? This lesson, Lord will, will, will be edified. Alright? This is Brother Barra from Trinity Camp. Alright? And the topic today will be mockers and scoffers, right? Mockers and scoffers. Alright? So in the last days, and we see the prophecies unfolding, right? And we still have coons and clowns coming up to the camps. We still have mockers and scoffers on the common board. And we still have ungrateful and unthankful, envious niggers or niggards around us, right? They have things to say about the prophets and the men of the Lord, right? So just to get some clarification that this is all part of the prophecy or all this was prophesied, right? It says um, 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 2, right? That ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before the holy prophets and of the commandment of us the apostles of the Lord and Savior, right? So this is the command. What it says, what and the commandment of us, the prophet, sorry, the apostles of Yahweh, of Yahweh Shai and Savior, right? Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust, right? So they still have scoffers, right? That in their own mindset, that hey, the Sabbath is hey, or what? Just somebody coming boards. The Sabbath is supposed to be Saturday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we still have all this kind of bullshit right going on. And these men don't submit themselves to the ordinance of the Abba Shem They don't submit themselves, as you say, to the, to the apostles' doctrine. Right? Because we know clearly to the spirit who the apostles are. Yeah, they are apostles and elders at GMS. Taha, Kaba, Raka, um, Ariamla. Right? And the elders come on down. Right? These are the men. Truly Spirit, these are the men, right? That we prophesied about. These are the apostles in the reincarnation, right? These men don't don't submit to the to, to the doctrine, right? These mockers and these scoffers. But we but we're not gonna eat up too much over them because these are the men that we know what's gonna come, right? But guess what? They have a reward to get for the stubbornness, the insubordination, right? This, this wasn't even in the script, but truly spirit. Samuel says what? Um, this, this is uh, 1 Samuel chapter 15 verse 23. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness is as the iniquity and adultery. Because thou hast rejected the word of Yahweh, he also rejected thee from being the king. Right? So you have men that, that are still saying that the mark of the beast is, 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 is an embargo. You know? And whatever other philosophies that they have, right? At the end of the day, you all don't submit to the to the ordinances of your worship, your shy. The mark of the beast is your, is your chip, right? Preaching and pushing that energy, right? Against the chip is what you should be doing at this time, right? To build up the people, to build up Israel, to build up Yasharala for the day of the Lord, right? So that the faith will be they will be strengthened, they will be hardened towards not receiving the chip. Right? Or, or against receiving the chip. You understand? So that's what it's about. Submitting yourself to the correct ordinances of your worship me or shy to the to the leaders and your elders and the apostles that he set up to be in subordination. Right? And uh, uh, when they do all that they'll be humble, right? The most I said he resisted the crowd. Right? So once you stand up there in, in your great pride against us just because, you know, whatever petty or emotional differences you may have. Or just the main factor to envy the spirit that the apostles and the elders have, right? Or just the main factor to ignorant and it's just a fool because many of these scoffers and mockers are just fools. They were created to be destroyed, right? But once, once, once you continue to resist the ordinance, guess what? You have an ultimate judgment to get, right? Right. This is Jude chapter one verse eighteen. Jude chapter one verse eighteen. It says, how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time, right? 
who should walk after their own ungodly lust? So these men just hey, basically it's just after their their own heart, their own belly, their own mind they're walking after. Right? They don't they don't submit themselves to Yahweh Shimia Shai. They don't submit themselves to order. Right? And the most high has no room for disorder. Right? This 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 current system that we're in is disorder. Topsy turvy. Women, women ruling over men, children ruling, ruling over the household, lesbian, gays, homosexual, transvestites, GMO food, all manner of abomination. Alright? What you've been edified with according to the source system, what you have been put under to believe, the order that you have been put under to believe is hypocrisy and lies. Alright? There's one, there's one law for the rich and a different law for the poor. But basically it's all oppression for Jake. Alright? But the scripture says if you if you if you resist the ordinance, and we go back to first Samuel chapter what? 15 verse, verse 23. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness as the iniquity and idolatry, because thou hast rejected the word of Yahweh, he had also rejected thee from being a king. Alright? So what we we work into towards being king, so because what then the scripture say that we're gonna get crowns on our heads. Alright? The scripture says we are gonna get crowns on our heads. It says this is Revelation chapter 3, verse um, verse 11. Behold, I come quickly and hold fast to that which thou hast. Right? That no man may take thy crown. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my power, and he shall go and no more out. I and I will write upon him the name of my power and the name of the city of my power which is New Jerusalem which coming down out of heaven from my power and I will write upon him my name, my new name right so we walk into towards our crown right to be crowned we also walk into towards that one pence which is what to, to be the kingdom of heaven the same thing is our crown we're gonna be kings, we're gonna be powerful, right? We're gonna have spiritual power, we're gonna be revered, we're gonna be adored, but not on this side, right? So going back to the scripture in Jude, they say, hey, they're gonna go after their own lust. So in other words, they're gonna be in, in, in vanity, right? We have to put aside all our vanity now and submit ourselves to the ordinances of Yahweh worship Yahweh Follow through and, and, and hey, be consistent. Now it's not a time to rest. Now it's a be the iron while it's hot. We have a saying that is saying down here in Trinidad. Be the iron while it's hot. Once the spirit, the spirit is on us. Right? We see these prophecies unfolding. Be the iron. Right? Because many shall come in in the last hour. Right? And what you're gonna feed them? You can't feed them lies at this stage. Because way hey, it's being manifested, the RFID is the mark of the beast. Right? The chip is the mark of the beast. Right? The scoffing at that. It, 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 hey. It's like it's like you're scoffing at your own reflection in the mirror. Right? And being foolish. The most high have no time for fool. We have no time for foolish. Foolishness and foolish men. Right? It says uh Proverbs 1 and 26. Hey, if you think if you think that you laughing at us now and, and, and making jokes and parodies and you know making camps and all you'll do is uh um, is, is cough scoff 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 bringing no edification no salvation to israel to yasharala to the elect to the predestined guess what you scoff we're gonna keep up all the lord's business and we're gonna be rewarded and we're gonna laugh in the, in the end so you enjoy your laughter now you enjoy your scoffing now right you enjoy your 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 personal revelation and breakdowns that the spirit gave you hey by the time you realize there's a demon that manifests unto you, it'll be too late. Proverbs um, 1 and 26. I will also laugh at your calamity and I will mock when your fear coming. Right? Because your fear is going to come. Martial law is going to come. Jacob's trouble is going to come. Famine and pestilence is going to knock at your door. Because all these men are in a glee right now. Guess what? You're not feeling the pain of, 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 of adversity, of being tried and refined, truly. Right? As the scripture said in Sarah number 2. Um, it says what now? Uh, let me get it real quick. Sarah number 2. It 
It says, will, will spy for all his tribe in the fire and acceptable men in the fullness of adversity. How much adversity is somebody scope was going through? A motherfucker you scope because you happy. You glad. Your spirit is at peace. You're having fun. Right? That's why you scoffing. Some some of your scoffing because you're a pro. Right? But at the end of the day, what real adversity you've been going through? The men that been afflicted is prof is prophesied that we're gonna be and going through adversity to be refined. Guess what? We being tempered, we being hardened, we being made men. When they, when they look at the scripture, Yahweh was an austere man, that means a hard man. Right? This is austere times we are in, and it's gonna get more austere, it's gonna get more hard. Right? But while you're there upon your own philosophy and doctrine, thinking that that is the way, being all comfortable, because now you have nobody ruling over you, so you're comfortable, you're conceited, you're complacent, and you have a voice. But just now you won't have a voice other than a cry until you have worship me or shy. And he will say, get thee away from, get thee hence. He will cause of iniquity. Iniquity, Salakia. I do not know you. You understand? The Most High is going to refuse you. Right? Repent. Now is the time to repent. Seek ye the kingdom of heaven while it may be found. Right? Humble yourselves. This is um, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 4, verse 15. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 4, verse 15. This is the this the people saw and understood it not. Neither laid they up this in their minds that his grace and his mercy is with his saints, and that he had respect unto his chosen. Right? The most high chose the apostles and the elders at GMS. To, 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 to let his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding flow through. Right? Y'all don't understand it because y'all wasn't given that understanding from the beginning. Y'all weren't predestined. Right? But if you believe truly in your worship, submit yourself. Submit yourself and he may have mercy upon you. You may be part of that one too. Right? But if you continue to be proud, your destruction shall be your portion. It says, verse 16. It says, thus the righteous that is dead shall condemn the ungodly which are living. Hey, the righteous that are dead shall, shall what? The righteous that, are, that is dead shall condemn the ungodly which are living. And the youth that, that is soon perfected the many years and the old age of the unrighteous. Alright? So these mockers and these coffers. Hey, they are ungodly, right? But we in this death, we we in this dead place, we in this can, this carnal flesh. Are we condemning you? We condemning you to judgment that's gonna come. By you scoffing and mocking at us, it's to your own condemnation, right? We don't physically have to do anything, but you, but you bucking up to 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 the ordinance of your worship, your shy. It's to your condemnation, right? I said, thus the righteous that is dead shall condemn the ungodly which are living, and the youth that is soon perfected the many years and the old age of the unrighteous. For it says, For they shall see the end of the wise and shall not understand what Yahweh in his counsel had decreed of him, and to what end the Lord had set him in safety. Right? Because we're gonna be delivered, we're gonna be safe. Right? While two thirds be destroyed and the rest are, the, are these heathens. Right? Not all, not all, because we're gonna to have to have some for slaves. Right? You're not gonna understand. Hey, hey, the scripture says you're gonna watch and say, Are those the are those the men? Yes, we're gonna be those men. We are the men. We are the men. We know we are the men from now. That's our confidence that Yahweh our Bashim is gonna deliver us for our righteous works. And our faith in him, because it's more about faith than works. Alright? Because we really believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and we profess Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Alright? We don't keep secret councils. We don't keep anything secretly. We, we, we do it out bold. We proclaim, hey, he saw you are the devil, the so called white man on the planet. You are the devil. You are the devil that the Bible prescribes. You are the devil that the, that, 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 that the earth has seen. You are the scourge of the planet. You are the scum of the earth. You are the wanderer. You are the vagabond. You are, we condemn you to that because you, you 
have proven yourself to be. You are so wicked, you, 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 you pollute the air that you breathe, the water that you self drink. You condemn your own people. You put in your own people to death. So, so much more your enemies because you identify us as being your enemies because we have the blessing and you have the curse. Right? We have eternal life and you don't. You have slavery and then death. Eternal shame. Right? We're not afraid to proclaim that. Right? And put all these other heathens in order. From Moab all, all, all the way down. Y'all, 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 y'all was made to be our slaves. Thus said the Lord. And, and, and it soon come. It soon come. Submission, subordination soon come. The energy, the spirit, and the men of the Lord is, is already being pushed on the planet. You're going to be in subordination. You're nasty Elamites. You're nasty. Yeah, you're really nasty um, Moabites. Right? You have a duty to fulfill to be our slaves. Right? Edom, Edom especially. Edom, top of the list. Right? It says, uh, verse, verse 18. They shall see him and despise him, but power shall laugh them to scorn. Right? The Most High is going to laugh you all to scorn. The same way that you are laughing and scoffing at us, the Most High is going to laugh you all to scorn. And through us, and we're going to laugh also. Right? When your judgment comes, your destruction comes as the whirlwind, you're going to die by the sword, by the famine, by the pestilence. You know, some of you are going to take the chip. You understand? Death and destruction soon come. Shaka Amos, with your donkey ears, your donkey tail pop coming off the side of your head. Ryan go and save you in that day. You understand? Poor light. None of them, none of them Egyptian gods gonna save you all in that day. Right? When you cry upon them, they're dead. They are idols. They can't help themselves. They have no power. There's one true living power, and that's your how about Shimmy Aoshine. And in that day, you're gonna know. In that time, you're gonna know. Well, we're gonna laugh while you're weeping and mourning. We're gonna laugh. And we're, we're gonna bring that death and destruction to you. Providing that we are of the elect alongside with the hour shine. It says, and they shall hereafter be vile carcass and a reproach among the dead forevermore. For he shall rend them and cast them down headlong, that they shall be speechless, and he shall shake them from the foundation, and they shall be utterly laid waste and be in sorrow, and the memorial shall perish. Hey, look, look how gloriously and lavishly some of your scoffers and muckers live, right? Some of you in, in, in phantoms, in, in, in have houses with pools and mansions, living out there in Hollywood. Right? Some of you all have jets. Some of you all have congregations, big, big congregations where you walk in being proud and glorious over, being lords over. I don't want to call names, you don't have to do that. We have, we have, all Israelites know who's false and who, who's fake at this stage. Right? Who's not sent? Who has not been sent? Who have not the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai? The Holy Spirit. Who have not the spirit of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and patience? Who have not faith? Who isn't given that gift? Who isn't mixed with that gift of faith? Who come in their own spirit, their own uh, proud ideals and lust? It says, verse 19. No, sir, verse 20. And when they cast up the accounts of their sins, they shall come with fear, and their own iniquity shall convince them to their face. Hey, you're gonna be ashamed. The most high is gonna put shame on you. Shame on you. I don't even want to call your names, but you all know who you all are. Shame on you. Repent. Submit. Repent. Turn away. Be humble. Blessed is the humble and blessed is the meek for they shall inherit the kingdom of heaven. Be humble, be cut, be reproved. 
and show repentance. Give order and respect where respect and order is due. It says Daniel chapter 12 verse 1. Daniel chapter 12 verse 1. And at that time Michael, stand, Michael shall stand up with Salakia. And at that time shall Michael stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never seen. Sorry, such was never since there was a nation. Even to, to that same time and at that time thy people shall be delivered everyone that shall be found written in the book right this is the salvation of the saints we're going into right which book the lamb's book of life right who Yahushai was given hey Yahushai was the lamb Yahushai was the lamb it's his book of life the saints that was with him from the beginning that created the world right we were predestined because we were them spirits that was moving with him. We were them angels. Right? This is only for the elect. These mockers and these scoffers, they are not part and parcel of the elections. Um, 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 lot. So we understand that. But we have to condemn you all at the same time. And in the condemnation, hopefully the elect that are watching will wake up. The gen those that are in the Gentiles, gentile, gentile state of mind. You're going to wake up. You're going to be able to put the differences aside, separate the pros and the cons, and know where the truth is. There shouldn't be any argument in your mind. Alright? It says, verse 2, And many of them that shall, and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. And there's a condemnation that is about to happen. Some to everlasting life and some to everlasting contempt. Right? Are you going to be found worthy in that day? This is Ecclesiastes, Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 31. Then shall ye remember your, your own evil ways and your doings that were not good and shall load yourselves in your own sight. For your iniquities and for your abominations. Hey, because you're all bucking up, it's just abomination and iniquity against Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You don't fight against us, you fight against the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. We are just his messengers. We are the host of the spirit, of the Holy Spirit, which deliver any message. Right? And as you buck up and scoff up and mock, you're condemning your own selves. Verse 4, sorry, verse 3. And there that shall be wise shall shine as brightness of the firmament. And there that turn men into righteousness as stars forever and ever. Right? So, so the elect are going to have a fruit or reward for their fruits. They're going to shine as stars forever. Because guess what? In the kingdom of heaven, the beginning, the first, right? Everybody is going to be given a lot, a crown, and an honor, and the order is going to be set up because these men have done a great work for Yahweh Hashem Yahushai to bring men into repentance, the elect back into the doctrine and the heritage of the truth, and they're going to be, we're going to be rewarded for that work. You are going to be rewarded for your mocking and scoffing. This is Revelation chapter twenty-two. Verse 16, sorry, verse, verse 12, it says, Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. He's going to give you according as your work shall be. If you mock your score, you're going to get a reward for that. Death and everlasting shame and contempt. Contempt. If you have done the work in sincerity and in truth, and you brought a brother into repentance, Yahweh Shim is gonna bless you with a crown, respect, honor, glory, riches, women, wealth. 
All praise, you say, our boy Shemi Aoshai. To him be the glory. We really not worthy. Are there anybody that is proud up on this side? Proud of our little knowledge? Guess what? The most I said he could have raised up rocks. This is Galatians chapter 3. The Galatians chapter 6, verse 3. Galatians chapter 6, verse 3. But if any man thinketh himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. You receive it yourself. Right? You ain't nothing. The little knowledge that you have, you ain't nothing. The years that you have in the street, it, it doesn't mean you are anything. We are just but simple servants of how about Shem We are here to, we are bidden to do his will. Just like how Yahweh Shai did the will of his father. And when he completed it, he said, it is done. When he was on that cross, he said, it is done. You ain't saved. You didn't shed blood for your Aoba Hashem You didn't shed blood for his doctrine. You're just proud. Repent. This is Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12 verse 3. Romans chapter 12 verse 3. For I say to grace, given unto me, every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according as Yahweh had dealt every man the measure of faith. Be sober and think, be, be humble, be modest. The scripture in, in, in Sirach says what? The more power that, the more, so like, yeah, let me get it, let me do paraphrase. Hey, there's no time for pride. In Sirach chapter 3, verse 18. The greater thou art, the more humble thyself, that and thou shalt find favor before Yahweh. But Hashem Yahweh shall. Hey, we are about favor of Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh shall. Not glory of men. Not glory of men. We are all brethren in this thing. We're supposed to be one body walking hand in hand to accomplish the duty and task, which is the proclamation of Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh shall among the Gentiles. Being that light. That tower of, of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. The little that we know is greater than what these two thirds don't know. What Esau doesn't know. What the heathens don't know. We have greater knowledge and greater power than them. Humility is the key. Not pride. Pride coming before destruction. Hey, all those that, that still gain saying against the mark of the beast being the chip, repent. It is the chip. Submit yourself. It is the chip. You have a judgment to receive if you don't build up the gates for the day of the Lord. If you don't strengthen them for the, for the day of destruction. For the time, the hour of, of, of temptation. The blood of the men that died that, 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 that die on that day is going to be on your hands. Your leaders have a strong responsibility, a heavy load to bear, a burden that you are bearing. And I don't know if you all recognize it. Repent. This is um, Proverbs 21 and 20. Proverbs 21 and 20. There's a treasure to be desired and oil in the dwelling of the wise, but the foolish man spending it up. Hey, these two tilts on the comment boards, they just, they just, they just. They aggravate your spirit because they're not wise, they have no wisdom, they're just fools and clowns and choose our platform to perform. Right? We really don't appreciate it, but we understand that this, this must happen because the scripture said that it would happen. Alright? But we really wish they would find another platform. YouTube, YouTube is free to everybody. Take up a page, because half of you don't even have on your page. You, have, you create a page to score. On your page, do a video. Be a clown, show off, perform. You might get some followers. You know? Stay out of, stay out of our platform. Our platform is for the men that seek righteousness, that seek salvation, that seek the energy and power and vibration and truth of your worship, your That's what we would really wish to happen. 
right? But all praises and honor and Yahweh Bashim Yahushai will be done. It says Job 5 and 2. For rat killeth the foolish man and envy slay the silly one. So hey, we know we know your end at the beginning. Right? Rat is gonna kill the foolish man, right? And envy slay the silly one. Half your half the men that claim to be Jews, that claim to have the understanding that Yahweh Shim Yahushai is the name, right? The silly call on Christ. Now the mark of the beast is a, is, is a chip. You resist that ordinance and say it is um, an embargo. It is John 3.16. It's some other, some other bullshit. It's Christianity. That is envy. You all envy the spirit of the elders, the Holy Spirit that is working through them. Right? You all envy knowledge and wisdom. You all envy righteousness. You all into pride and vain glory. Right? Repent. It says, um, First Peter, chapter two, verse eight. First Peter, chapter two, verse eight. And the stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. You're just disobedient. You're not just scoffers and mockers, right? What you all say doesn't mean that what we saying is not the truth. What we saying is being manifested as being the truth. Right? It's a manifestation of the time because the prophecy is unfolding. You all are being shown to be clowns. Right? We don't take you all seriously. Hey, take up another occupation. Go scoff at somebody or something in the world. Maybe they will give you the attention that you need. Right? And the, and, 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 and the ones that are in Israel, the ones that any knowledge that's coughing and mocking hey, is because you're all envious. Repent of that spirit of envy. Repent of the spirit of envy. Fast and pray and ask your Bashim Yahushai to take that demon up off of you. Nothing is wrong with loving a brother that have more knowledge with you or than you. He's still your brother. And that's what it is. It's about building a nation, not building a man. Not glorifying a man. If any glory has to be glory, is Yahweh Shai. Because he died for us. He died for his brethren. He laid his life, life down for each and every one of us. Nate, will you do that? So lucky I didn't even want to call names. Right? And last scripture. Sirach chapter 41, 8, 80. Chapter 41, something like 8. Something like 5, so like Sirach chapter 41, starting at 5. It says, The children of sinners are, an abomin are abominable. Chil so like the children of sinners are abominable children, and they that are conversant in the dwellings of the ungodly. The inheritance of sinners, children shall perish, and their prosperity. Prosper, posterity, right? Or future generations shall have a perpetual reproach. Hey, <laughs> when you'll come back in your re reincarnation, you're gonna be ashamed. Polite, Shaka Amos, San Neta, Saran Sutin Seti, you will black consciousness community, right? If Vokal Malone is a Jake, he will be in shame, right? He will be in shame and utter, utter contempt. You know, you'll still be better than, than, than the heathen around above, but you're going to be shame. You're going to hang your head low. Because you're mock scoff and resisting the ordinances of your Ahabah Shem Yahushai. Right? So it was 8. Woe be unto you, ungodly men, which have forsaken the law of the Most High Power. For if ye increase, it shall be to your destruction. Right? So all those that, 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 our uh, seeing profit, seeing gain, seeing peace, being relaxed, have no affliction. Yeah. Nice to your demise. Means you're not any Holy Spirit. Means that the Holy Spirit is not dealing with you. Means that he is not of the elect. He is not of, he is not of this 
lot you know, of that portion right and you're gonna be food for the missiles or you're gonna be taken in the um, concentration camps you could die there you could die of stamp farming pestilence you could probably um, take the chip and then be destroyed by um, Yahushai and the chariots with the lasers so that'd be a portion you know so you all laugh now who laugh laugh last who laugh last laugh best and Yahweh shiny scene is gonna laugh last. You understand? So you'll laugh now. Feel proud. Be happy in your in your lot. Alright? You'll enjoy. Enjoy. Live it up. Alright, I pray this lesson was edifying. And I give all praises say how about Shimmy or Shai. Double honors to the Hawaii Shimmy or Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders that rule well, that labor and toil the years in this truth. Right, the apostles and elders are GMS and to the sincere brothers because the four corners of the earth that living in that repentance and seeking your boy Shimmy Oshai in spirit and in truth. Shalom. Kwam Yashawala, rise Yashawala.